Hello, hello, hello. It's Brandy Janae here. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel today. I would like to welcome you if you are new and welcome you back if you are returning. I truly appreciate your support. In today's video, I am going to be planning in my Erin Condren daily planner. So if you're interested in seeing this plan with me, please be sure to stay tuned. All right, great. Thank you so much again for tuning into my channel today. If you watched my last video, then you know that I purchased the A5 daily planner from Erin Condren. It did come with the planner folio in the mid-century modern. I decided that, to be perfectly honest with you guys, I don't, I don't like the planner folio. I think it's too flimsy. It, it's just... I know that it's not going to work for what I actually need it to work for. So I had planned on using this other A5 cover that I got from Hobby Lobby. It's one of the Agenda 52 covers because I do think that they have some really, really, really pretty ones. And then I remembered that I took the rings out of it because I wanted to use it for my compact vertical planner. <laughs> so that I had a different case for that because so it currently has the notique cover on it right now which is the black one and then I'm using the other one as like a backup cover so then when I thought about using it for this one I was so sad because I realized like I said that I had taken the rings out which made this the cover now useless for my daily sheets because it's for the ring bound system so anyway after doing a lot of whining I decided to go ahead and just go back to Hobby Lobby to rebuy that one. And then my planner bestie, Simply Shantae Renee, go take a look at her channel if you have not been there before. She was like, well, I'll give you one of mine. And so she had the cover that I had destroyed, <laughs> essentially, for this sake. And she also had a couple different ones. So I did choose another pink one. But I did still go to Hobby Lobby and I found this one and I absolutely love it because I just really like that like wood, as you can see by my desk, just that light wood country kind of look. And I thought the leaf, I don't remember what these plants are called, but I thought that detail was really pretty. So this is by the Agenda 52 company. And of course it was 50% off, which, you know, why not? And so anyway, it has this beautiful pattern here on the inside, the three pockets, of course, your cover. I haven't done any decorating as of yet. And then you get the back pocket again with the beautiful. So I just thought it was really, really pretty and decided, oh, and then of course the gold rings. So I just thought it was really, really pretty and decided to go ahead and just pick this one up. So, so far in here, I haven't really done much because most of, and I need to put my name. I don't know why I haven't done that yet. But most of this setup I've already done in my weekly planner. So I'm like, I don't know, it feels redundant to me to keep dotting things when I've already done it once. So I may not even use those pages. And then this page, I did go ahead and kind of mimic the calendar. I don't remember if I put all of it on here, but because this already has the detailing across the top, which I don't really think I like anymore, but I'm going to just deal with it. I was trying to find colors that kind of matched just in the sticker books that I already have because I didn't want the stickers to look kind of weird. So unfortunately, the stickers that I have are from the Happy Planner books. So of course, they're designed for bigger boxes than these are. But I was like, eh, it works. And then I did create this little habit tracker. And then after I stuck it here, I realized that this isn't really where I wanted to go. So such as life is here now. I don't really know, again, still what I would even use these little dashboards for. So I guess it doesn't really matter. But I'm thinking that after I do, I'm going to put the ha habit tracker like I should have put it here basically on the notes pages. Like I want to put the next habit tracker here for the next week so that it's before the week, I think, 
or do I want to put it after the week? See, that's the part I don't really, I don't really know if I want to put it before the week or after the week. I might actually go ahead and just put it, so then it could go here. I might put it after here. I want to make sure there's enough. And then here. Okay, yeah, so I might go ahead and put it after the week. So yeah, I didn't really need this one up here. It should have gone here. And then that way, it because since it's only a weekly tracker, it only needed to be in you know in that other space and then if i had like a, if i had created a monthly tracker then that would make more sense to go here but for a weekly i think i'm going to just utilize this page or else again i don't really have any purpose for these notes pages because i pretty push pretty much put everything i need in where it goes either in the weekly or in the daily so I went ahead and did some planning it is not even july yet you guys i'm so excited to use this but i went ahead and did some planning just so i can kind of get a hang for this because I haven't really used a daily planner of this size in a really long time. So I'm super excited with the way that it turned out. And I just kind of like the simplicity of it. And I know that as time goes, I will obviously get these pages filled up. But like I said, it's not even July yet. So, <laughs> so when I'm filming this, so there's only so much I could write in. And I am doing this. I don't know if you can notice this, but I think it's oh really alana i think is her name she's on youtube as well as instagram she's doing this just one challenge and so i decided to go ahead and join that and that does start on july 1st so kind of putting just one activity that i will do and please go and check her because there's no way i can explain it the way that she does but go and check out her page i'll go ahead and link that below as well as my planner besties youtube channel simply shante renee and then her shop is also listed in the description box below along with my shop information so anyway i'm going to be planning for i'm gonna just go ahead and do Ju july 4th and july 5th since they're right here and i just feel like that makes the most sense so i'm gonna take these two pages out and for this i will be using the wild style sticker book from the happy planner and then also the journaling sticker book from the happy planner and then of course i have all of my trusty tools and then i actually pulled this out of one of the happy planner books and i'm going to be using it for like my sticker holder just so that i can kind of pull the ones i want out so i'm not like flipping 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 through the book the whole time so but I just thought both of these books were super cute and very, very, very functional. So the first thing I want to do is cover up the top. All right. So that is covered. And then For these boxes here, I want to put in the weather. Then I cover this up and put my own to-do sticker. I can use this black box. I kind of like this whole black and white thing, I think. And then there's another. might have been shiny or a little bit different but that's okay it'll work so. 
All right, so these two boxes are the weather and then on the side, I will decide what I want my just one thing to be. And then on, let me see. I'll use these date covers again in the black and white. Kind of like this font. I love it. And then I think mm, these are probably too big. All right, so so Monday, I know I have a day off because it's a holiday. Of course, it's July 4th, which I wish I would have pulled out a July 4th sticker. But that's okay. Oh, oh, okay there we go. Regardless of which though, I'm going to use my stickers here. I have one for AM routine. down here it's really nice to not have to write this every single time I do enjoy that and then let me think Monday Monday is also my husband's birthday. So, oh, shucks. Ripped out from not paying attention. I'm not really sure what he would like to do yet. Exercising in the morning, maybe not at that time, but I like to put it on there. Normally, I go to work at 7 30. Let me put that on the box. <laughs> Cute. Nope, that's too big. Could 
cut it down, but that feels like a lot of work. I want to put something down to notate my husband's birthday. Hmm. I'll just use this. And I can just kind of write down what we're going to do in that box. All right, so yeah, I think I'll just kind of write down what we're going to do on that box. I would at least like to take him to like a really nice either brunch or lunch type situation in the, you know, daytime. And then not sure what we'll do in the evening. So I'm just going to kind of leave Monday pretty blank. My to do's are also going to stay very small because again, I don't want to like overshadow his day <laughs> with my stuff. So me that's going to pretty much be that's going to pretty much be it for Monday. I would like something to go across this bottom though. I wish I would have pulled some washi. That works. Yeah, I like that. Okay. Be bold, brave, and brilliant. I like that. Okay. So we're just going to call Monday done. I need to find, I know I have a work, not a work. I know that I have a, what am I thinking? Oh, some holiday stickers somewhere. I just need to find it. So we'll put that there. And then once it gets a little bit closer, then I'll go ahead and fill in the weather. And then again, I'll go ahead and fill out my just one. I don't want to do it too soon because I may change my mind. So on Tuesday, back to our regularly scheduled activities. So I am going to go ahead and I have not tried making lines with this pen. So hopefully it does not smear. So I work from 7.30 to 4.30. So I really do not obviously mark anything during this time except for lunch, which is kind of like my wishful thinking time for lunch <laughs> because I very rarely actually go to lunch when I plan on going to lunch. So... A work sticker here. Makes me happy. And then the fifth. What 
I don't even know what I did with my lunch stickers. Okay, so I took them out somewhere, so I'll go ahead and <laughs> add that later. I would like to, for sure, I'll go ahead and put this on now so that I don't forget. I would definitely like to go ahead and do some filming slash editing on this day. So I'm going to put that down so that I don't forget. If I can get the sticker off the sheet. So that's like a task that I know I definitely want to do. And then I try to put more of the tasks that like down here bills do around this time so we're just gonna put that one there something to go across the bottom like on the other side I forgot to mention that on this in this little spot here I am going to be writing scriptures so that's why I'm not putting anything in that space because I plan on doing my scripture writing in that section. Ooh, that one seems really long. So we're gonna just scoot that over a little bit. This one seems really long, but I guess maybe they did this spacing different for this one. There we go, that's better. So that'll give me some room to put my scriptures in. I don't have I don't know where it is, so I'm just gonna write. Oh, that's what I did. You know what? I didn't make lunch and dinner stickers. That was on my list of things to do. I just remembered because I want to have lunch and dinner word stickers and icon stickers. I just remember that like I had to write it last time. And then I'll just write where we're going here. And then I do have these little meal icons from cloth and paper, which I think are super cute. So I did like to add those. But yeah, sometime, probably in this week that I'm actually filming, I'm going to go ahead and make my icon stickers like I don't mind buying things from other shops obviously because if you see my plan with me then you know that I you know like the kits and things like that but when it comes down to like scripts and you know little icons that I feel like are easy to do like I'm gonna go ahead and just 
do it even if I just do it for myself because it does get very costly to purchase those things all of the time so I don't want you know planning to be especially because I have so many stickers from so many shops already I don't want planning to be a place where I just you know have to continue to buy all the things and spend all the money because there's a lot of things that I can just do I just choose not to like I could literally make boxes and I could make washi tape and all those things I just don't want to <laughs> um but I don't mind making the scripts and I don't mind making the little icons because those are easy I just don't want to deal with the patterns and design and I just I just don't want to so it's easier for me to just allow someone else to use their talents to do that and then me support other shops and then I will just kind of stick to the things that you know I don't mind doing and things that I feel like are the most functional for me because although I love the cute stuff the function is why I get into planning in the first place cute is cute but I needed to actually get from point A to point B on schedule and on time so that is why I started planning originally and that's why I want to continue to do what I do so Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and stop here because I don't want to write a bunch of things in and then decide like, uh, I don't really want to do any of those things when the time comes. But if you follow me on Instagram, then you will see more of an updated version of what's going on in all of my planners. So be sure if you're not already doing so to go ahead and follow me on Instagram. And also, if you have not already done so, go ahead and hit the like button and the notification bell and the subscribe button so you can be notified whenever I post a new video. Thank you so, so much for watching. And as always, have a good day, friends. Goodbye.